Our little family consists of myself, my husband Chris, and my beautiful little girl Annika, who is four. Annika was born weighing a very healthy weight, APGARS of nine and nine, and all of a sudden Chris and I are parents and, and we couldn't have been happier and everything was perfectly normal. Um, you know, we, we were just ready to, to delve into being mum and dad. The first moment that we thought that maybe there was something not quite right, we were um, we're actually getting ready to be discharged from the hospital. We were um, ha giving Annika her first bath and during that time she um, she had, had been having this funny little movement in her her hand um, and it was just very rhythmical like this. This little movement all of a sudden got very severe and it went from hand to foot all the way up into her face, started ticking and then she couldn't breathe. She was loaded up with some really significant uh, anaesthesia meds and all of a sudden we heard the sirens and they were coming for our baby and um, they took her down to the John Hunter. She went into the NICU and we didn't know what had happened to Annika. My husband and I had all manner of things going through our mind. What could it possibly be? Our baby who was only 36 hours old had to undergo a lumbar puncture um, and she had an MRI and within an hour or so of the MRI we were um, we were met by the director of the NICU. The minute we heard the words out of his mouth that your baby has had a stroke, we were, um, we, we, we just, we looked at each other. We couldn't understand what was being said. Um, we had no comprehension because strokes aren't for babies. Strokes are for, you know, older people or unfit, unwell, unhealthy people, they're not, for brand new babies. They didn't think that she would be able to feed. Uh, they didn't know whether she would be able to see or hear um, walking and those sorts of things were at that point well off the cards. Um, we, we were basically told to just love our baby. I had no knowledge that there was a correlation between a stroke at a young age and cerebral palsy. She was six weeks of age the very first day that we walked into the Cerebral Palsy Alliance at East Maitland. As we now know, early intervention is so important. So it's um, it's been it's been key for her. That was the big thing that we did. We started with physiotherapy because that was the most important thing was to try and get Annika's right hand side. Um, responsive and moving. It's basically her brain was neglecting to communicate with the right hand side of her body. So given Annika started with us at six weeks old and she's now four, um, there's been a lot of progress. So um, the early things of reaching out with that right hand was exciting and uh, rolling. Um, crawling really, was a really lovely thing because it's really hard and a lot of kids with hemiplegia struggle with crawling. So she was able to, um, to get her crawling and then from there she's just you know, pulled up to stand, walked, running, climbing, the works now. And progress wise, just how well she's done. That has surprised me because her stroke was pretty significant. Progress in Annika has been incredible. Um, we've gone from having a, a little girl who had no knowledge of the right hand side of her body to having a now four year old little girl who runs and jumps and skips and climbs and does every single thing that a four year old should do. But from what we were told initially, the little girl that we would have to the beautiful little girl that we have today it's just it's miles away it's unfathomable what you know what she is and what she will be we were quite lucky in that Annika's therapy as I said started at six weeks of age the Cerebral Palsy Alliance covered Annika's therapy until she was just over 12 months of age when her NDIS funding kicked in that's not insignificant. It's um, that meant the world to our family. The absolute reality of the cost of getting through those sessions before 
your child gets um, gets their NDIS funding is significant and there are families that wouldn't be able to do it. So um, we don't for a second discredit how very, very important um, that, that gift to our family was. If you're thinking of donating to the Cerebral Palsy Alliance, I urge you to absolutely um, go ahead with that. The, the gift that you are giving is immense. Um, every single child deserves to have access to therapies. It doesn't matter what the background, it doesn't matter the reason for their diagnosis of cerebral palsy. They all need to be able to get these early intervention services and it's not free and it's not cheap. So I would absolutely say, please, if you can, if you've got the resources to do it, um, please make the donation because the difference it makes to not only the child, but to the family is just incredible. Thank you.